Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Tranche Dunn here. And today's video is going to be a little bit different to my normal kind of videos. So today I will not be showing any of my tarantulas, my reptiles, my amphibians, none of my creepy crawlies. It's purely aimed at people who do not own a tarantula. So I know that there's a lot of people that watch my videos that do not own their own invertebrates or creepy crawlies, but may would like to sort of get into them, but it's to do with sort of cost or, you know, there's different reasons why people may not sort of own a tarantula. Maybe they're just creeped out by them. And I came across this product on Amazon. It's in the bag. I haven't actually opened it sort of properly yet. And I thought that this would be a really good um, little video idea, I guess, that hopefully you will enjoy. So, if I take out what is in the bag, I have this. So, uh, this is Spider World. And... It's a, I thought would be a really cool little video to do for you guys and would be a great introduction to those of you that don't have kind of creepy callers that may want to, to kind of have a bit of a taste of keeping something. So the reason I'm doing this now, uh, one, as I said, there's a lot of people that watch my YouTube channel that do not own invertebrates. So I thought maybe this would be a step for you. Also Christmas is coming up. I'm not paid or I'm not sponsored or anything to talk about this product, but Christmas is coming up, this was £10 um, or £9 something pence from Amazon. It came the following day after I ordered it with Amazon Prime. And I thought this would be a great kind of thing before Christmas for you guys. If you have children or you know some children, a really cool little cheap kind of stocking filler. You know, 10 quid, it ain't going to break the bank. So what is this? So basically we'll have a look at it in just a second and I'm going to be sort of showing you how to use it, shall we say. This is a, I don't know how to word it, kind of like a little kind of uh, kit, if you will. Uh, it comes with the enclosure and some other bits and bobs. And then what you do is you take your, either yourself or whoever you bought it for, your child, you go into your garden. Um, I would myself will be heading just over the back of my house. There's a nice little wood. We're going in there and I'll be trying to find a kind of a spider or some kind of creepy crawly to keep in this and then you can watch it, you can feed it and water it and just sort of watch and observe how it lives. Very much like how uh, those of us who keep tarantulas on a much larger scale do. We keep tarantulas, we watch them, we feed them, we observe them and we are fascinated by watching them and observing what they do. And this is a really good, cheap, introductory way to doing that. So we're going to have a look inside the box, see what's inside. Then I'm going to grab my coat uh, and my camera, my tripod, and we're going to go for a walk and see what we can find. Okay then, so here's a, a better look at the box. What it says, it's by uh, My Living World. Get on the side. The underside of the box. For children over five years of age only. I'm nearly 28, so I'm fine with that. It tells you the contents, clear tank and uh, lid. Field lens, tweezers, pipette, paintbrush, and informative guide, which we will have a look at as well. And uh, there's Nick, who is the guy that I guess created or made this or whatever. So let's uh, let's take a look, shall we? While I'm doing this, if you are watching um, this video and you aren't already subscribed, please do. Uh, it really does help me, as well as sort of you know liking and leaving comments and things like that and sharing my content. Whoops, a daisy! Didn't mean to do that. Um, it does really help me and my channel. So uh, and also you won't you won't miss the other things that I'll be doing. So open the box. Uh, the spider uh, spiders world book. So it's a bit of a warning about it. This is about the contents. Tells you about the kit. Oops, a daisy. Yeah, also uh, tells you the names of some of the um, yeah, the comments. So you've got the house spider here, window spiders, house spiders feeding, cellar spider. It tells you how to set it up and some of the sort of different spiders and things. It tells you how to catch it, which I'll have a look at that in just a second. Does your maintenance know your way around a spider? It says that, you know you can see here it tells you about the eight legs, the palps, which are the uh, the front two appendages on the spider, eyes. 
tells you everything. Here you go, look, how cool is that? It even tells you all the different parts of the spider. It is really, really good, and this is just the book, so you should definitely look at um, buying this. There you go, seven common questions. So yeah, really, really good little informative book there. So let's have a look at the actual container. Very nicely packaged. Not quite spider shop levels of uh, packaging, but still. There you go, very, very simple. Nice little enclosure. You can see it has air holes on the top. And there's a hole here, which we'll talk about in just a second. So this is a look at everything that you have actually in the package uh, but firstly with the lid which obviously fits on nice and easy there is this like little stopper which you can put on which will obviously stop uh, the creepy shall we say from getting out of course as well if you have sort of small crickets and things you can drop food through there and then seal the back up that way there's no risk of the, the creepy getting out that's quite a good little thing it means you don't have to worry about the spider running out and getting everywhere this is the catch cup, I guess, um, which is used when you when you find the spider or invert that you want to keep. You can collect it in this before transferring it into here, which we will do in just a second. It's pretty cool. This is a field lens. So um, if I just get this, we'll have a look at Nick. And you can see that's actually a really good little lens for considering it came in a £10 little box. So there's sort of close up. That's good. That's really good for you know for the price of this. That's great to have, and I can probably use that in sort of general anyway. So uh, yeah, we have some tweezers, which are great for sort of manipulating the creepies or dropping the food in and things. See, so, yeah, I'm going to actually touch this, the touch it yourself. A pipette, very sort of simple tool, uh, which we use mostly for slings. You pinch the end submerge into water, suck water up, and then you can apply droplets to uh, keep your creepy hydrated. I'm using the word creepy because I don't know what you're going to catch. If you're going to catch a spider or, I don't know, catch a snail or something, whatever you want. Creepy just seems like a, a cool little word. Uh, paintbrush, of course, this is a good way to uh, manipulate and sort of encourage the particular thing that you've kept to move in a particular way. And it's very soft, it will not cause any harm to your thing and then here we have a ball of cotton ball I shall not be using this this is for uh, they they supply this to hydrate but I do not use cotton ball as it actually harbors um, mold and mold is really not very good to have in tanks so with that honestly I shall just be getting rid of that I shall be using it so that's a look at what is inside the tub I shall place that on there, nice and secure, but these things here, these will all be coming out with me and we are going to go and have a look and see what we can find. So whilst I'm looking for uh, obviously something to put in, I have found this which I'm not going to I won't be sort of collecting this, but this is a harvestman. This one's actually missing a couple of legs, I think. And these are these aren't actually arachnids. These are um, insects. They have six legs and two long arms. And these, I don't know what it is about these, but they really, really creep me out. Since I was a child, I've always had a thing about them where uh, I've always been less tolerant of these than, than other things. I wouldn't harm them, obviously I, they are harmless. But yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty cool. Let's put him back. There we go. Don't bother him anymore. Let me show you a bunch of woodlouse. Loads and loads. Oops. And loads of them. 
also uh, this place is pretty much full of people with their really disobedient dogs. You can just say people calling for their dogs as they're uh, obviously not listening to them. But lovely wood. Nice over walk. Quick look here. I found some uh, some baby millipedes, and these are tiny. These are probably only maybe a couple of centimeters. I think there's three of them there. Look at the size of that. It's a teeny tiny little millipede. Not quite as big as as my giants, that's for sure. So I'll just obviously fit that. I think I found a stash for um, like a squirrel stash. There's a leaf there as well with uh, about three egg sacs on it. So out of the way. And under here, we found loads of acorns and uh, things like that. And loads and loads of uh, like maggots if you can see them all kind of squirming in my hand which isn't a problem I'm not you know, I'm not really sort of put off by them but there's I mean there's like god there must be hundreds I mean literally just there's loads of them As well as a nice earthworm. There's still no spiders. So I found this little guy. This is a, uh, we don't know the exact species, it's a flat millipede. Of course, they are harmless. He just jumped, <laughs> never mind. So I did just find this little guy. This is a centipede, They're kind of common here in the UK. Obviously, much uh, a little bit, little bit smaller than the ones that I have, <laughs> especially my uh, my Scalapenda gigantea. You can see it there, just boring its way back into the wood. Okay then, so this is perfect. I've just found a A. fenestralis, the late web spider. Not only have I found this one here, this is a female, who's actually looking quite fat. Uh, maybe grab it again. One, two, three egg sacs. I don't think this one is hers, but these two up here, she was actually sort of there. So I'll be placing her along with those and the actual bark inside the enclosure. So I'm gonna make my way back home and we'll have a closer look. Okay then everyone, so I'm back from my little trick and I got this wonderful Amorbris fenestralis, the lace web spider, as well as a couple of egg sacs of, that she, I believe she has made as well. 
So I'm going to be showing you how to kind of set your spider up and then show you, I guess, the enjoyment you can get from observing these. Okay then, so this is the obviously the enclosure with the bits and bobs, of course the spider is in here and I have some water and shot glass, not that I will be drinking that, but for the uh, for the spider. So I have here some uh, dirt, this is out of the garden, I'm not using sort of the normal stuff I would use for spiders, for my spiders, my tarantulas. This is just out of the garden and it should be fine because obviously the actual spider is from the wild so I can't see this being a problem for it. So the dirt is now in there, I've dug it down at one side, so it's almost sort of empty at the bottom, and the reason for this is so I can place this in into there, now there's the x axis sort of at the top here, so this part here will be the part that will be sort of more submerged, I will put some dirt down there as well, I use a paintbrush here, just to Make sure that's held in place. I'll get a little bit more dirt, which I'm going to just drop down there. Double check that the lid can go on, which it can. So that's it from the front, and that's it from the back. And so the next thing to do, of course, is to take this spider. the lid off and what you want to do is using the tip of the paintbrush just very carefully touch the back of the spider and she should there we go yeah you can see that she's in here she's just there now with this water here and get the pipette squeeze the one end get some water and then just put a few drops of that in there. We're going to get some beads onto the wood, and that will provide enough moisture for the, uh, the spider, or of course whatever sort of creepy crawly you get. Place the lid on that. That is literally uh, a perfect size for it. So as you can see, that is pretty much level with the uh, with the top of the enclosure, but. There's plenty of sort of room in, in there for her. So you can, again, you can see the spider's just here. I have actually noticed as well that there is actually a wood loss in there as well. So hopefully she will take that down as well. So then once your enclosure is set up, you've got your, your substrate in there, which you don't really need. If you catch a orb weaver or some kind of sort of orb garden spider, uh, you can put some twigs in there and it should be fine. If uh, you get something like this, then you know, the dirt has an extra touch, it's not necessarily needed. And the beauty of this is that once it's all in there, if you just take this little cap off the top there, you can then use that, get your water, place your pipette in there, and then you can add your water into there. Or of course, you can drop your, your food in there these depending on the size of the size of the spider you can drop anything from sort of wood louse um, crickets you know anything sort of small on the spider pretty much it will take down even you could probably drop like an ant or something in there it'll probably take those down as well so and that's it you can simply sit back and watch your spider as it does what spiders do which is actually generally quite not a lot <laughs> they they tend to like kind of just chill out a lot but if you can get them when they're building webs and digging and things, they are fascinating to watch. And hopefully you may find it to be quite enjoyable to watch, especially if you have young children. It could be a nice little project for them. So uh, with Christmas coming up, maybe give it a go. And if you do, please let me know how you get on with it. Send me your photos on my uh, social media. Links can be found in the description. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, everyone. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you all soon in the next video.